So we're on our way to Project PG, the largest development deal we've ever undertaken. In fact, the largest deal we've ever undertaken. It's an absolute mammoth. And I first saw this property on like a social media page on Facebook. And the whole kind of premise of the post was, ha ha ha, you can buy a castle for the price of a three bed detached house in Cardiff. Taking the mick out of it and saying like, who's gonna take this on? Like, it might be cheap, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's just wrought with pitfalls and problems. And we looked at it and we thought, hey, you know what, maybe we can do something with this. We've got a great power team, Anthony and David and myself, like we know what we're doing. We've, we've done deals before, we've solved problems before, but I never really anticipated how difficult it would be. We booked a viewing in it, we put an offering on it, we, we got it accepted about 100 grand below asking price, which is awesome. Um, and then just continue going through the process. And that's when things really started to get complicated. I mean, number one, the purchase price was like 400,000 pounds. Like, and we didn't have 400,000 pounds. We're making good money in a sourcing company, but we weren't making 400 grand. Completely unmortgageable, so it was cash buy only. It's been fraught with obstacles we've had to overcome the whole way. And if it wasn't for the people around me and the, the relationships and network that I've built up, through this industry, we wouldn't have been able to take on something this big and this complex. I said to Anthony, I was like, mate, like, I, I don't know if we can do it. I don't know where we're gonna get the money from. There's no money in the list. People don't wanna put any money in. Like, what are we gonna do? And he said, mate, put it on the list. You know, put it out on the list. I think you're wrong. And when Anthony calls me out on something and says, you know what, you're wrong, I listen to him. Because every single time he's gone, you're wrong, he's been right, you know. So I put it out, we spoke to a couple of investors and they were willing to put the money in we needed. We needed uh, 40,000 pounds for legal fees and exchange of contracts and some planning fees and stuff like that for literally just six months, unsecured, but on the back of a contract. He gives us the money and we exchange on the 3rd of April. And it was, it was really crazy how two days prior to that, I was like, nah, mate, there's no way we're gonna get this. There's no way we're gonna exchange. Like, the deal's falling over. Like, it sucked. We'd viewed this almost a year earlier and we were gonna lose it. But then to see all of it come into place at the last minute, to look back and go, you know what? It had fallen through and then the agent came us back. Uh, there was another off on the table and the agent batted it away. And then we come to exchange and we want nine month delay completion. They're not having it, but we upped it to 420 and we pushed for an exchange early and we got an agreement with the vendor. Raise finance for exchange literally two days before the deadline. And to see everything fall in place, it just gave me really good vibes about the feeling of this deal. They talk about investing with your gut after you've done a few deals and this and that, and you can begin to trust your, your gut, which is not an emotional feeling. It's not a flimsy pie in the sky type scenario. It is your gut telling you deep down there's something about this deal that feels right. It's like a sixth sense, I guess. Now that's not the kind of thing that I tend to invest on. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a figures guy, I'm a logical guy, not, not a sort of emotional one. But I had a really good feeling about this deal and I was like, you know what, I think, I think this is gonna come out well. I think it's gonna work out the way we need it to. Yeah, like that was the start of this deal for me and, and the real kind of point at which I went, you know what? This is a deal I want to invest in. I know this is going to work out. And the more due diligence we did, the more people we spoke to, the more professionals we got on board, the more advice we sought, the more positive news we got back. And the more people said, you know what? This is a fantastic project. It's a really good one you're taking on. I'm really glad that someone's finally taking on this old, horrible building and bringing it back to its former glory. That for me is kind of what this project is all about. Yes, you know, I'm doing a, a good deal and obviously investors are making money and it's a business operation, but we're also taking a really glorious building and we're making it new again. There's nothing wrong with like getting a good feeling or doing something good and making money at the same time. It's a massive side benefit, but it's the real driving force behind why we do what we do. Putting new quality housing on the market and taking buildings that otherwise would be lost for future generations and bringing them back so people can enjoy them. People can enjoy the history of the land and, and the everything that went along with it.